Alrighty, welcome back to lesson four. Hope you had a good day yesterday. Let's take a look at some stuff today here and knock it out so we can uh, get on to the fun part, which is the practice problems that you do at home yourself with the loving support of your little baby brother and sister and stuff like that. Okay. All right. What does it mean to multiply? In other words, if you had a baby brother or sister, how could you explain to them what this means without hitting them? That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Five times seven, that means five sevens, right? That's seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. Or you could say that's seven fives. Five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five. It's exhausting, isn't it? Okay. Okay, that's the definition of multiplication. Sure is one heck of a lot easier to write that than this or that, so forget that. Doesn't matter. Uh, what the order of factors are. In other words, you could say five times three, that's gonna be 15. You could say three times five, that's also 15, who cares? You could say four times two times three, that's gonna be, let me see, eight times three is 24. Or you could say three times four times two, that's gonna be 12 times two, that's also 24. Of course, you could also say two times three times four, That'll be six times four equals, you're not gonna be surprised to learn, 24. Okay, so we got definitions, we got order of factors, and we have tapeworms. We can skip that subject, it's kind of unpleasant. So forget tapeworms right now, okay. Well, let's do a multiplication. Go ahead and write this down, let's do it together, all right? So we got 137 times 68. I'd always stick to the one with more digits on the top. And this is the algorithm. At some point in history, somebody figured this out. Brilliant guy or girl, whoever it was, okay? Seven times eight, 56. You write the six there, boom there. Eight times three, 24, plus five is 29. Nine there, and then two goes there. Eight times one is... Eight plus two is... 10. Okay, there we go. Now we're done with our 8. 6 times 7, and you can get rid of these two. 6 times 7 is 42. Now, of course, you know you move it over one time, right? So 6 times 7 is 42, but the 2 there and the 4 there. So 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22. Put the 2 there. 6 times 1 is... six plus two is eight. There we go. Add this straight down, six, 11, three, there we go. Everybody's happy, so boom, there we go. And if you wanna check it out, you can go 137 times 68, and look at that, see, we're right. Okay, all right, let's try something like this. $7.35 times 41. What I would do if I were you to make this simple on myself would just be forget the decimal totally. Don't even worry about it. Don't even put it in there. Forget it. All right, and just do your multiplication. This is a simple one. You, you know 735 times one is just 735. All right, now 735 times four. Four times five is 20. Four times three is 12 plus two is 14. Four times seven is 28 plus one is 29. And then we got a five, we got a three, we got 11. And that's gonna be one plus nine is zero. And there we go. Now all you need to do at the very end, you know, pop a dollar sign on there. And then just go, okay, the total number of digits behind the decimal is two. So our answer, answer will be the exact same thing, just with two numbers behind the decimal. There we go, piece of cake. Okay, all right. Division is the opposite of multiplication. The definition of division is how many times does something go into something? Okay, you can say it like this. You could go, you know, uh, I don't know, let's go 50 uh, divided by 10. You could say, you know, you could say 50 divided by 10. That's every fraction bar it just means it's a division problem. Now, if you have, let's say, 50 divided by 10, you could go like this as well, right? Okay. The dividend, the divisor, and so on, all right? The dividend and divisor are these numbers here. The dividend is the 50, the divisor is the 10, the quotient is the answer 
which is a five. Remainders, there's stuff that are left over. We can deal with those either as remainders or as decimal answers, and we'll do a couple of those. So the algorithm that this works, which means just the method, uh, looks like this. And again, some brilliant person, I don't know how many years ago, thought, of, thought this up. All right, four into 735. Well, let's do the first one. Four into seven goes one. You, mo you can do the short division if you want to, but I'll do both. One times four is four. Subtract it three, drop down the three here. Now four into 33 is eight, times four is 32. Subtract, that's gonna be a one. Drop the five, four into 15 is three. That's gonna be a 12. And then the remain you could say remainder is three, all right? Now this, you should, I mean, division happens quickly if you know your division tables and if you know your multiplication tables okay this is a big pain if you haven't memorized those things perfectly and accurately and quickly okay this is why some people i've, I've actually, actually talked to people oh sex and math is terrible my daughter took three hours to do this lesson yeah well that's because uh your daughter didn't know her times tables or division tables so of course it's going to take three hours to do that okay by the way if you were to do this look like this for short division you could go you could go this way let's go like this four in the seven is one what's left over three right put the three right here like it's a 33. four into 33 is eight right eight times that's the what's left over one's left over because it's 32 which is one less than 33. Now four into 15 goes three times, right? 12, what's left over? Three, call it a day. We'll do decimals at a, at a different time, okay. 251 divided by 40. Now let's go ahead and do this. All right, we'll do decimals this time. And this time we'll stick a decimal here and we put one up there as well to match it. And we'll throw a couple of zeros there to see how it just to kind of make it nice and a little bit longer. But we'll, we'll go 40 into 251. Now, I doubt any of us memorized our 40s tables. We don't have to. 40 into 251 is like going 4 into 25, practically. So the answer to that is going to be 6. So 6 times, I'll just do long division, two, that will be 240. Just like 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 40 is 240. Subtract, we have 11. Drop the 0. 40 into 110 is the same thing as 4 into 11. That's going to be twice. 2 times 40 is 80, and that'll be 300. Uh, that'll be 30. Excuse me. I'll drop the zero. That makes it 300. Okay. 40 into 300 is the same thing as 4 into 30. Right. That goes seven times. All right. Let's go ahead and we'll do another zero there. Seven times 40 is the same thing as seven times four with a zero on there. All right. Subtract that. That'll be 20. Drop a zero. Boom. 40 into 200, same thing as 4 into 20, exactly 5. Stop right there. Don't do any more. Once it fits exactly, quit dividing, okay? And go do something else, like milk your goats, okay? All right, let's do this one. Same thing, dollar sign doesn't make any difference at all. Just do it regularly and plop a dollar sign at the very end of your answer. But let's go ahead and do a short division this time. $13.70. In other words, you have five goats. You're going to, you have $13.70 to divide among them for Christmas, for their presents. How much does each goat get? Well, let's take a look. All right, short division this time. Five into 13 goes twice. What's left over? Three left over, right? Okay, so put the three there like it's a 37. Now let's go five into 37, which is seven, okay? What's left over? Seven times five, 35, so two's left over. Put the two right here. So five into 20 is four. Slap the dollar sign on there and you're finished. All the goats get $2.74, okay. All right, here's another one. You can do 47 and do 2,183. Now again, these are, you're gonna have to, I mean, nobody memorizes this 47 tables. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of multiplication on the side to figure out how many times, but you can kind of estimate this though, right? So you know 47 doesn't go into 21. So let's do this one first. Well, you can look at this and go, okay, that's about 50. Uh, it's about 200. 50 go, uh, 47 goes into 200, four 50 goes into 200, excuse me, four times. It might go five times, I don't know. Let me check it out. 47 times five, that's 35. 
20 plus 3, oh, 235, oh, too much. So it must go four times. There we go. So 4 times 47, just do that over here, boom, 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 and you will get 188. And something like this you might want to do a long division on. Okay. So we can say something like uh, 218 minus 188 is 30, and then we're going to drop that 3. And we could look at this again and go, that's about 50, that's about 300. And we can be pretty sure that that's going to go in there six times, just like 5 will go into 30 six times. So that's going to be, we'll call it a 6, all right? 6 times 47, and you can do this on the side. I know what it is, 282. We subtract, that'll be 21 as a remainder. You can just put remainder of 21. We won't have to go on and do decimals right now. Okay, all right, find the missing numbers. Same old things we did yesterday, right? Uh, 12 times something equals 168. And again, if you're not really sure, oh no, I, I forgot how this works, just make up your own problem. Just go five times something equals 10. Well, you tell me what does n have to be here? Five times what gives you 10? Two, right? So we know this answer is two. So how do we get two out of a five and a 10? Well, obviously we took this number here and we divided this number there. So do the same thing. Take this number here and divide by that number here. So we got 168 divided by 12. 12 into 16 is one. What's left over? Four is left over. 12 into 48 goes four times. Perfect, stop right there, you got it. All right, try another one. 64 divided by some number equals four. Well, you could do it again. I got 10 divided by A, let's say it's some number, equals two. Well, we know the answer to that, right? What number does that have to be? Five, right? All right, well, how do we get 10 out of a five and a two? We multiply them, right? Or we, how do we get this number, 5, from 10 and 2? We, we take this number and you divide by that number. So we can take this number, 64, and divide by the 4. 4 into 6, 1. What's left over? 2. 4 into 24, 6. Finished. Done. Okay. One last one. I think that's the last one. Yeah. B divided by 3 is 15. Now before you go, oh wait, I know, 5, 5. 5, 3, 15, 3, 5, try it out. If you think the answer is 5, 5 divided by 3 is 15. No, that's not right. Okay, no goat milk for you. So yeah, you're just going to look at this and go, okay, well this has to be some number divided by 3 is 15. I'm going to have to take these two numbers and multiply them together. 15 times 3 is 45. Let me just try it out. Is 45 divided by 3, 15? yep, it sure is. I got the answer, 45. Okay. All right, in your book, turn to page 18, pause it, and we're going to try those problems. There are, good, night seven of them. Okay, we can do one at a time if you want, pause them how you like. Go ahead and pause and start on them, and come back when you're ready to look at the answers. Okay, for A, we're going to multiply or divide 300 times $1.25. So what I would do if I were you is forget, just forget all, you know what, in fact, Okay, I would just forget all of this. $1.25, uh, you can just do it this way. Okay, 300 times 5 is 1,500. 2 times 300 is 600. 1 times 300 is 300. You can look at it that way if you want to. You don't have to do each one, slavishly do each one little digit. So a 0, I got a 0, I got a 5 here, and that's a 7 and a 5. Now. Remember that your answer has to have as many numbers to the right of the decimal as your original problem has. There are two here and then none there, so there's going to be two total. Slap your dollar sign right there, and boom, you got it. That's A. Okay, pause it and try B. All right, 778 times 6, oh, oops, that's a 5. That's the worst 5 in the history of mankind ever written. Okay. All right. 778 times 3, that's going to be a 2. Uh, that'll be a 23. And that'll be a 2334. Done with the 3. Uh, eight, 6 times 8 is, get these 2s out of here, 48. 6 times 7 is 42 plus 4 is 46. 6 times 7 is, again, 42 plus 4. That'll be 46 again. 
okay? Done. 778 times 5. And let me get these fours out of here. 5 times 78 is 390. Plus, okay, uh, let's see here. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 7 is 35. Plus 4 is 39. That's going to be, be 3890. Okay, and then a 4 and an 11. A 0, a 10. That's a 3 plus 15 is going to be 18. And that'll be a 13. And then there we go. Which is, of course, my annual salary right there. Okay, let's try the next one. Try C. Okay, interesting one. Well, I'm just going to go with the remainder here. 30 into 261. Now you're going to look at this and go, okay, you get, if, nobody knows this 30 tables, I doubt, but 30 into 261 is about the same thing as 3 into 26. You should know 3 goes into 26 8 times. 8 times 30 is the same thing as 8 times 3 with a 0, right? You can either go, that's going to be 21 left over. Now you can do a decimal if you want. If you want to put remainder 21, that's fine. If you want to do a decimal, you can do a decimal. All right, just we can do a decimal here, throw a couple of zeros or whatever, all right? Just let a zero drop. 30 into 210 is the same thing as 3 into 21, which is 7. In fact, you can stop right there. That's all you need to do. Or a remainder 21. Okay. All right, let's try D, 12 into $49.08. Okay, here we go. 49.08. Not going to even bother to put a dollar sign. Doop. There we go. 12 into 49 goes four times. Let's just do short division. Uh, what's left over when you, 12 goes in the four, uh, four, 49 four times? Well, there's one left over, right? So let's do that. 12 into 10 doesn't go. Okay, what's left over? There's 10 left over because we didn't do anything. 12 into 108 goes nine times, and then there you go. $4.09 is your answer. Okay, all right. Last couple here. 15 times C is 180. Well, this is a division problem. We're going to divide eight, uh, 180 by 15. The answer to that is 12. That's the answer to E. Let's look at F. X divided by 3 is 56. Now, this you might have gone, what, what? This is, uh, that's not, I, we haven't learned. I, I'm going to, oh, just go like this. X divided by 3 is 56. The same thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, so some number divided by 3 is 56, which means you're going to have to multiply these two numbers together. The answer to that is going to be 168. That's the answer. Okay, last one. 368 divided by B is 92. Well, let me get some space here. 368 divided by B equals 92. Well, that means some, 92 times something gives you 368. The answer to that is 4. So you're just going to multiply those uh, or divide 368 by 92 to get four. So that's it. Okay. Hey, guys, have a great day. See you next time. Take care.